Hey, and vocabulary users, we're going to be talking about this word right here. Tedious. Tedious. Of course, the first step is to look at each picture and try to notice clues that are going to help us create our own definition for the word. Tedious. Tedious. So if I start with picture number one, I can infer based on the backpack and the books and the other people staring forward, this is probably some type of classroom situation. And then I obviously notice this gentleman is sleeping, which is very unexpected for a classroom situation. And again, my background knowledge tells me that students typically fall asleep when the work is not interesting. So those are all things I would note for picture number one. If I go over to picture number two, my job is to try to connect these two pictures and figure out what they have in common. So I see uh, vacuuming. And so I know again with my background knowledge, most people do not find vacuuming to be a very interesting task. So I've already been able to start coming up with a definition on my own that tedious might have something to do with being bored or boring. And now I just want to check the rest of the pictures and make sure that there's nothing standing up that goes against my thoughts already. So, all right. I don't see anything, so now I'm going to start looking at my captions. This teacher is so boring, I want to sleep. I vacuumed the house over and over, and it's so boring. Yellow jello every day is so frustrating. Mom, there's nothing to do. This guy never has anything interesting to say. Looking at the same program hour after hour is frustrating. All right, so now I have a lot more to work with. The first thing I like to do is look for words that are used more than once for more than one picture. And of course, boring is right there front and center. Boring, boring, and frustrating. Right there, frustrating. Okay, and then nothing to do. So these are all like words or phrases that I feel are the strongest connections to the initial word tedious. These are words that are going to help me come up with my own definition. So this guy never has anything interesting. So never interesting. Okay. I could even add over and over because I'm guessing that the fact that something is tedious isn't just that it's boring, but it happens again and again and again. That might be part of the recipe, so to speak, for the idea of tedious. All right, so now what you're going to do is take all these words and these examples, and you're going to come up with your own definition for the word tedious. Then you're going to come back and compare your definition with the definition in vocabulary.